it's winter, I'm running in a three millimeter barefoot shoe. How is that even possible? Let's find out. For the first two years I was barefoot running, I stayed mostly on the road, so winter was no big deal. But this year I started to run on trails, and when it got colder, the wet grass and the slush were just killing me because my Primus Light has a very small crack somewhere in the sole, and cold water was coming straight in through the toes of my Vibram 5 fingers. Huh, so I just stepped in a puddle. Fuck me. And now my feet are cold. Got you. I looked everywhere for a waterproof barefoot shoe, but I don't like to run with more than three or four millimeters under my feet, so ugh, it basically eliminated everything except this one thing. This is the Vivo Barefoot Thermal Insole. It's basically a space blanket for your foot, and it does two things. One, it reflects your body heat, and two, it acts as a waterproofing layer, so even if you have cracks in the bottom of your shoe, it'll still keep the water from getting to your foot. The other thing I use is a pair of Ajinji socks. They keep my toes warm and they wick moisture away from my body. Sounds crazy to say, but I've been out in 10 degree weather with just these three things, and if they work for my skinny little chicken legs, then they'll probably work for you too. But they're not gonna work for all conditions, so let's talk about the pros and the cons and three alternatives you can try. What I love about a three millimeter shoe like the Primus Light is that you have much faster reaction time to the surfaces you're running on. Also, because they're so thin and flexible, they'll actually mold to any surface that you're running over, which gives them a little bit of an advantage over cushion shoes, which are mostly hard and flat. And if you're running someplace with a lot of slush or puddles, Vivo Barefoot also makes a winterized version of the Primus Light that's worth checking out. Now for the downside, literally. These shoes are probably not not gonna work for trail running on steep slopes because they just don't have enough tread. So let's talk about option two. I mostly stick to lighter trails in the winter, but if you want to do something with more elevation, then I'd recommend the Primus Soft Ground from Vivo Barefoot. It's got some really aggressive lugs on there, which are great for deep snow and slush. The thing is, as soon as you add lugs and a thicker sole, the shoe gets stiff and you lose that feeling of being barefoot. Also, whether you're running in a cushion shoe or a barefoot shoe, rubber lugs aren't gonna do anything on ice, so for that, you're gonna want a traction device. You ever been out on one of those days where it's just snow and mud and ice and you can't seem to get a grip on anything? Well, the Catula Micro Spikes are perfect for that because they're basically a set of 10 millimeter steel claws that wrap around your shoes and dig into whatever surface you're running on. If you're running on roads and it's pure black ice, then you might want to go with something more minimal like the Catula Nano Spikes. But here's the problem. As soon as you put a traction device on a barefoot shoe, it's no longer a barefoot shoe. And since barefoot shoes don't have any padding, they just don't feel that great with sharp metal objects poking into the bottom of your foot. So if there's only one option left, what about running completely barefoot? Personally, I like to take a little run out to the mailbox every day just to warm my body up. Ooh. Ooh. That's cold. But when you start going out for two, three, four miles, you're gonna run into problems because if you don't maintain a high body temperature, you're gonna get frostbite. And even if you bring a pair of shoes and socks as a backup plan, once your feet get cold, it can be really hard to warm them up again. So I guess the question is, do you wanna lose a toe trying to look hardcore? <sighs> Honestly, I was a little disappointed doing the research for this video because there just aren't that many options for good winter barefoot running shoes. But I do have some tips to make it better. Number one. Use a shorter stride. The closer your feet are to your center of gravity, the less likely you are to slip. Number two, adapt to your environment. When I'm running over ice or uneven snow, I treat it like an obstacle course. And every time my foot comes down, I'm thinking, okay, how do I have to position myself to nail the perfect landing? Number three, use vented shoes. It's weird, but I find that waterproof shoes actually make my feet colder because they sweat and then there's nowhere for the moisture to go. Four, follow the forecast. If the trails are too snowy, stick to the roads. And if the roads are too icy, then try some lighter trails. And if all else fails, just go hiking instead. Finally, number five, 
drink something hot. I find it warms my body temperature up before I go out into the cold, freezing abyss that is winter in upstate New York. All right. I think that covers it. If you have a winter barefoot running system that you really like, drop it in a comment below and see you guys next time. Peace.